Hello children. How are you? Hope you are listening to your parents and studying at home. Myself Divya Sahu and I am from Wordwell School. Yesterday I have taught you about structure of the earth and shape of the earth. Today I am going to tell you uh, more things about the earth. So let's start children our today's topic. Before that ans uh, answer me few questions. If I ask you uh, when do you wake up? Yes you wake up in the morning. And when do you go to sleep? You go to sleep in the night time. So you are seeing that uh, uh, morning, that morning is there, then uh, after that uh, afternoon, evening and night, right? So it is going in alternate manner. Next day also morning, then afternoon, evening, night, right? So uh, during daytime, uh, something different is there and during night time, something different is there. During daytime, you have your breakfast, you go to play, you go to school, right? And in night time, uh, you take your dinner and you go to sleep, right? During daytime, there is bright sun, but in during night time, there are the stars, there is moon, okay? So why you are not able to see sun in the night time, right? Where it goes? When does sun rise? Sun rises in the morning, and when the sun uh, sets, sun sets in the evening time. So you are seeing that daily in morning time sun is rising and evening time it sets. So it is happening in an alternate manner. Sun is coming and it is going, it is coming, it is going. Then also day and night. Day is followed by night. Then after that again day comes and it is followed by night. Night is followed by day and night. So it is going in an alternate manner. So children, how sun is rising and it is uh, going uh, somewhere? Why are we not able to see it in the night time? How day is coming and after that night is coming and daily it is happening? So uh, there are so many questions. You might be thinking now, what is the reason behind that? Where sun goes, right? Why uh, a day occurs and then night occurs? So, we will study about these reasons, the causes of uh, this day and night, right? Actually, children, for uh, you, all of you know that we live on the earth, right? And earth moves around the sun. So, our earth shows movement. What it shows? Our earth shows movement and it shows two types of movement. So, children, our today's topic is about movement of the earth what is our today's topic it is movements of the earth children you know that day and night come in alternate manner the reason behind the day and night is movement of the earth and that movement of the earth is called rotation what it is called rotation so first movement of the earth is rotation now question arises what is the meaning of rotation before explaining rotation i want to tell you about axis Children, I want to show you a movement of a bangle. Like, if you keep that bangle like this, and I am uh, just spinning it like this. You are seeing, it is, it is moving, it is moving like this. Okay? Have you ever seen any spinning top? All of you know top, right? Like, if I am making here one top. children top always spins at a point which goes through the center of it 
राइट इट स्पिन अराउंड दैट पॉइंट सपोज दिस इज अ पॉइंट तो इट विल स्पिन अराउंड दैट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड स्पिनिंग ऑफ टॉप इन द सेम वे अवर अर्थ ऑल्सो स्पिन एंड इट स्पिन ऑन इट्स एक्सेस ओके सो अर्थ स्पिन ऑन इट्स एक्सेस नाउ क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वॉट इज एक्सेस there is a model showing earth right children suppose this ball is a is earth right and this line is what this line is axis now try to understand what is axis children children axis is an imaginary line it is not an original one it is imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth it passes through north pole and south pole the end points are north pole and south pole so this is representing what north pole this is representing what south pole right so if this is earth that will be north pole that will be south pole okay children and in the uh, middle of the earth like this this is called what this is called equator okay on equator this side is northern hemisphere then equator divides earth into northern hemisphere hemisphere and southern hemisphere right so north pole towards north pole northern hemisphere and towards south pole southern hemisphere and equator is the imaginary line which goes in the middle of the earth and divides it into two equal halves right so what is equator equator is an imaginary line which divides earth into two equal halves like northern hemisphere hemisphere and southern hemisphere okay now let's come to axis i told you axis is an imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth from north pole to south pole are you seeing it and axis is not typically vertical it is little bit tilted so children our earth is tilted like that right and it is spinning like that around its axis can you see the movement earth is spinning around its axis like this right so what is the spinning moment of earth what is rotation what is axis axis is an imaginary line which is passing through the center of earth from north pole to south pole this one an imaginary line which is passing through the center of earth from north pole to south pole and what is rotation rotation is this spinning movement so simple definition of rotation is children spinning movement of earth on its axis is called rotation so i am showing you here rotation of earth right so what is rotation rotation is spinning movement of earth on its axis right and children earth continuously spins on its axis right and because of this continuous spinning of the earth we feel day and night how do we feel day and night okay i will show you one activity that will clear you that how day and night occur due to the spinning movement of earth on its axis right so uh Uh, i will take one torch and in dark place i will put the light from torch towards the earth and you have to observe what is going this light is representing sun the portion of the earth that faces sun you know what portion is facing sun this one this half portion is facing towards sun so this will show day time right during the spinning moment of the earth the portion of the earth that is facing sun shows day and the portion like this one this one this is away from the sun and the portion of the uh, the earth that is away from the sun shows night so how day and night occurs due to spinning moment of the earth and earth is little tilted children right so if sunlight is falling on the earth the portion of the earth that is towards the sun it it uh, it faces daytime 
and the portion of the uh, earth that is away from the sun there is night right so now you got why do we experience day and night due to the spinning moment of the earth earth shows spinning moment on its, its axis and due to which we feel day and night during day time earth phases uh, towards the sun and during night time earth phase earth is away from the sun A spinning movement of earth causes how day and night now you got it right now uh, you know uh, like uh, uh, what is the duration for one day one day like full day like uh, one day and one night it takes total 24 hours right so, uh, like it shows that rotation, it is because rotation completes in 24 hours, one rotation. Earth rotates around its axis and completes its one rotation. Earth completes it one, its one rotation in 24 hours. Right? That's why we feel uh, day and night in 24 hours. So, for uh, the completion of one rotation, how much time does earth take? It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis. So children, in one in 24 hours, we experience one day and one night. Right? Now you, are, you know that how rotation occurs and how uh, day and night comes. So, if I ask you, if, if I revise you my, uh, my topic, then what is axis? Axis is an imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth and from north pole to south pole. What is rotation? Rotation is the movement, spinning movement of earth on its axis. And what is the uh, time period for one rotation of the earth? So, earth completes one rotation in 24 hours. That's why, that's why we experience day and night, one day and one night in 24 hours. And how day and night occurs? Day and night occurs when the part of earth phases towards the sun we feel day and when part of sun phases uh, and the part of earth which is away from the sun it phase it represents night